Hey Aries, it's your girl Dominique with Empathic Guidance and I'm back with another video for you guys today. Okay guys, so today I'm coming at you guys with a brand new series called The Lies They Tell, The Secrets They Keep. And I'm just gauging your immediate space and the surrounding energies to see if there's any energy of deception or secrecy as it pertains to your social circle, your colleagues, as well as your lover, friends, or whoever, you know? So, we are just going to tap into the energy of, but while I'm doing that, you guys can go ahead and like, share, comment, and subscribe, join the Soul Tribe, and I'm going to jump right into you guys' reading. Let's see. Aries, Sun, Moon, and Rising for the month of March 2020. Spirit. Hmm. Glamour, intrigue, and drama. Okay, you could be dealing with a Taurus, I think. I think Taurus got this, if I'm not mistaken. Let's see. So you could be dealing with somebody that's very beautiful on the outside, but they just drama-filled on the inside. Gossip. Drama follows them. An important end and a new beginning. Okay. And then the signs are all around you is in reverse here. So I definitely feel like you don't even know who this person is. I mean, even if you do know who they are personally, I don't feel like you would even know that they're being deceptive or secretive towards you or you wouldn't even have an inclination. Okay. This can be somebody that's aesthetically pleasing to the eye, but they full of drama. Drama always follow them. And they could be gossiping about your blessings. They could be counting your blessings. Because this is telling you to count your blessings. But you can have people hid in behind the scenes that's also counting your blessings. Spirit is saying at this time, just like with everybody else, in your ascension and in your elevation and going into new cycles, you're going to have to leave lower vibrational people behind. Like, it's literally time to go ahead and throw in a towel when it comes to certain connections and allow new ones in. Ones that essentially is not going to be gossiping, telling your business, wearing masks, being fake, and bringing drama into your life, okay? So we're going to try to pick up exactly who this could be, especially since especially since there seems to be, for me, it would seem like no recollection that this person even exists. Or, you know, you could be thinking that this is really somebody that's on your team. Spirit, why is the Marie Masquerade glamour, intrigue, and drama? I feel like a lot of people are drawn to this person too in a sense where this person can gossip and make up the most crazy stories and people will listen to them in that way. Yeah. Okay. So this is like a fallen star or something. This is somebody that I feel like they had their chance and like they had their stage. So this could be somebody that's a little bit older. Maybe they still really good looking, but at the same time, it's like they, they their days of like fame and stardom is over with, you know, or just getting all the attention. I do feel like this person still has an intrigue, uh, a way to intrigue people, but more than anything, I feel like maybe you rising to the top with your career where this person's time may have passed, especially with that star in reverse here. Okay. Can I get more energies for this Marie Masquerade? Yeah. Okay. So we get in the 10 of wands and I definitely do feel as though the person, the people that surround you are extra judgmental. I got the judgment in reverse and I know that that means like you don't see something coming or like somebody haven't had some kind of wake up call. But in the same sense, I do see it as somebody that's over judgmental as well, especially as it pertains to gossip and energy. This is the type of person that inserts their opinions, thoughts, and what they think about certain things in situations where they're not asked for, okay? I feel like you've just been being a go-getter. You've just been going for yours. You've been passionately moving throughout life, working really hard, especially with this Ten of Wands. It's like you've been carrying a lot of responsibilities to make it to where you're going, you know, and now, you know, the opportunity has presented itself for the Ace of Wands. I don't know why I picked that up upside down, but it came out like this. Now the opportunity has come um, for you to receive some type of blessing for all the hard work and all of the um, burdens that you've been carrying to get to this place, you know. 
Meanwhile, everybody else just kind of sitting around being lazy, sleeping on you. And then it's like, to them, it seems as though that you attained this overnight. But really, it took hard work and diligence. They just wasn't present for the process. Because everybody was way too busy drama, like, gossiping and, like, indulging in drama. While you was just working hard and staying focused on the task at hand. One more for count your blessings. Yeah, three cups in reverse. You leaving friends behind when it comes down to this. And again, this is like repetitive energy for this particular series. A lot of people are elevating and leaving behind friends and friends are being jealous over it. But that could be why they being left behind. I'm not using this deck on the next one because they flying everywhere. It's getting annoying at this point. <sighs> and I feel like it's because the deck is kind of bent a little bit. I keep trying to rebend it back in shape, but this stuff is bent out of shape. Okay, so why is the witch at the end of the world here? Yeah. <laughs> I feel like you've been moving in silence too, okay? So it's looking as though you're taking on an opportunity that you're passionate about here. You got a new opportunity um, to bask on something that you're very enthusiastic and excited about and like very passionate about with the Ace of Wands and the Knight of Wands here. I feel like you've been carrying a lot of burdens as it pertains to this person, this person here. Because evidently you got somebody that's very beautiful on the outside in your space. But on the inside, that person is not good to have around, okay? Um, I feel like in the, in the, in the spot that you were in, because this could be a wife to you, Aries, especially if you're a male. If not, if you're a female, this can be friends. Um, but I definitely do feel like in the process of you moving ahead with this project or this new beginning that you're enthusiastic about, people have to get left behind. And of course, they're not happy about that. They seeing you as disloyal. Um, they seeing you as somebody that gives into temptation um, and that keeps secrets here. You know, that's, that's the accusations that's being made against you. So really, it's like you being pointed at as the person that's lying and keeping secrets. Aries is what it's looking like. All right, let's see. What was that? It flipped. Two of Cups in reverse. So yeah, that's the thing. Somebody here in this situation, whether it's you or your partner, Aries, is ready to break off a situation, a relationship. Um, Like love is lost in the situation. And if you found um somebody else, then I definitely do feel like one person is being left behind for another. That's what I'm definitely getting here. And it could be a Queen of Cups energy. You know, they can have Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio and some of their prominent placements. But with the King of Swords in reverse or the Queen of Swords in reverse, you know, it's like, I feel like this is being kept on the hush. I feel like not many people really know that you're trying to move in a new direction. Because like I said, you pretty much moving in silence while everybody else just kind of sleeping on life and just thinking everything's sweet just to sit around. You making moves and you making moves silently. So people are going to be shocked when they look up and essentially your life is going to be changed and it's going to be basically before their eyes. Yeah. People are feeling like you're being left out in the dark here. They're being left out in the dark. Why is the Ten of Wands here, Spirit? For Aries, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Yeah, you concerned. There's a mature male here that's being concerned about the changes that he about to make. So this could be you, Aries, or it could be the person that you're dealing with. But whoever is thinking about really moving on and like changing their life, they are concerned with this. They're concerned about how they're going to be viewed. They're concerned about what's on the other side of this, this change, you know. Why is the Ace of Wands here? Yeah, in a sense, I feel like, Aries, you could be dealing with a partner that doesn't work. Or you could be putting dealing with a partner that, and you have to work very hard because I'm getting an occupation in reverse for one person's energy and then the um, toil and labor for somebody else. So essentially, somebody is viewing a relationship like a job. That could be you. You know, it's just like, okay, it's just my job to provide for this person. But it's really no joy here because when I see the toil and labor, that's somebody really doing something that they don't want to do. You know, so you have to make a decision like, okay, neither one of these is like, a actual dark choice but one certainly is brighter than the other you know and you can visibly see that why is the strength in reverse here i feel like this is you giving up to that giving in to that new path that you've been resisting for a long time because of 
because of your concern of how people would treat you, you know, feeling like people won't, won't take you in high standing or, you know, essentially put you on some kind of pedestal to make you feel like, oh, you know, you're still a good person. You still the man. So instead you just quietly want to leave a situation. That's what I'm getting. So yeah, Aries, honestly, everybody else can be um, viewing you as the one that's deceptive. Or keeping secrets unless this is being done to you. Why is it not? Ooh, but you love somebody. It's definitely being done in the name of love. And this flipped out hard. And <laughs> wow. Gosh, it's just the energy is crazy. Listen, you are in love and you are sick to your stomach that you got to be away from this person. And I feel like that's the person you share things with. The one person that you share everything with and it is a newer woman in your life. Um, I feel like you have to be on a temporary break away from this person. I feel like you guys share telepathy. I feel like you guys tell each other everything. And right now you guys have to be disconnected, which is really hurting you. You want to reach out to this person. Why is the queen of cups here for Aries, sun, moon, and rising and Venus for the month of March, 2020, the lies they tell, the secrets they keep. Okay. What are they doing? Gonna watch come out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. See, the thing is, is that this relationship was already dead, but your spouse may be viewing the person that you're moving towards as somebody that stole the relationship or stole you from them. So that's where the discord is coming from. But in reality, the situation was already over with is what I'm getting here. And, you know, a lot of people may not condone that and to each his own, but... You know, that's why it's kind of a good thing to speak up about your feelings when you feel them. That way, nobody can say, okay, you didn't, You. it's not like you didn't know I wasn't happy. It's not like you didn't know that this could have ended. But just be honest with yourself, honest with others, because unfortunately, you was the one in this one. And secretive energy. But, you know, go for what it is that you feel divinely guided to, regardless of what people think and feel, okay? Like, share, comment, and subscribe. Join the Soul Tribe, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.